Thank you, Mr. Chair. My amendment number 144 prohibits funds from being used to enforce an unnecessary reporting requirements from the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services on Ambulatory Surgical Centers. I was first made aware of this requirement by my constituents when I toured a local outpatient facility back home in North Texas. And as they pointed out, this forces ambulatory surgical centers to report COVID-19 vaccination status of each employee every quarter, or it punishes them with a pay reduction. Now, Mr. Chair, I'm sure that my colleagues on both sides of the aisle hear the same thing when we return to our districts. Healthcare facilities are struggling to find workers at every single level. And yet, CMS does not hold every facility to the same standard. CMS removed COVID-19 vaccination and testing requirements for hospitals on May 31st, which was 20 days after the president declared the public health emergency was over. Meanwhile, CMS continues to require ambulatory surgery centers to report their workers' vaccination status or face a sharp cut in payments. To be clear, my amendment is not meant to dissuade individuals from choosing to receive a vaccine. Rather, it will give them a choice similar to every other healthcare worker who wants to have the freedom to choose what is best for their health. So Mr. Chair, I urge all of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support this amendment and to support our healthcare workers who not only serve our communities, but also support thousands of small ambulatory surgery center businesses. And Mr. Chair, I reserve.